In the realm of rock music, Nancy Wilson stands as a testament to the resilience and innovation of women in a predominantly male-dominated field. Her contribution to Heart, alongside her sister Anne, has long been recognized as both pioneering and influential. Yet, like many great artists, Wilson's sound is not solely of her own making. She has always been the first to acknowledge the giants on whose shoulders she stands, among them Jeff Beck, Walter Becker and Jimmy Page. Each of these guitarists shaped her in profound ways, infusing her work with a distinct blend of technical mastery and emotional depth. The sheer range of Jeff Beck's work is what captured Wilson's imagination in her formative years. It was not just his virtuosity that impressed her, but his unpredictability, his ability to move seamlessly between genres and moods. Beck never confined himself to the expectations of rock. His experimental spirit, perhaps best exemplified by albums like Blow by Blow, spoke directly to Wilson's own desires as a guitarist. She has noted how Beck's willingness to bend and even break conventional rules about the guitar gave her the freedom to explore uncharted musical territory. In interviews, Wilson has described him as a guitarist capable of making the instrument speak with a voice of its own, something she aspired to in Hart's music. Who is that? Yeah. Who is that? Songs like Crazy On You bear the marks of Beck's influence with their intricate acoustic passages giving way to fiery electric bursts. Because the Crazy On You is a whole lot of rhythm, rhythm strumming, it's like... Crazy On You was the riff that introduced me to the music business. The song needed a bold intro. And I crafted it with an acoustic riff. Walter Becker, the subtle architect of Steely Dan's complex, jazz-infused rock, provided a different kind of lesson. His style was less overtly flashy than Beck's, but it was marked by a precision and thoughtfulness that left a deep impression on Wilson. Becker's talent lay in his ability to blend genres effortlessly. Rock, jazz and blues melded into a seamless whole under his deft touch. For Wilson, this opened up new possibilities for her own playing. With heart, she sought to channel Becker's genre-defying approach, creating music that, while unmistakably rock, could incorporate elements of folk, blues, and even jazz. Songs like Dog and Butterfly or Mistral Wind demonstrate her capacity to bridge these different worlds, taking cues from Becker's versatility and breadth of musical knowledge. you guys about another song that's kind of one of our signature heart songs that people ask me so much about and especially the introduction part of the song called Mistral Wind. Um, I used like the most dissonant oddball notes I could come up with and like this. <laughs> Yet perhaps the most significant influence on Wilson's playing came from Led Zeppelin's Jimmy Page. The Wilson sisters, famously infatuated with Led Zeppelin as teenagers, often recount how seeing the band live was a transformative experience. Led Zeppelin is a really beautifully mysterious rock, melodic rock band. They break out the acoustic guitars and the mandolins on songs like Going to California. And that was kind of our blueprint for our band. We wanted our band to be able to bridge all of those stylistic ways of, of playing. Page in particular became a figure of near mythic proportions in Wilson's eyes. His ability to craft sonic landscapes with the guitar, blending heavy riffs with ethereal acoustic work, left a lasting imprint on her style. Page's intricate finger-picking on songs like 
Babe I'm Gonna Leave You, or the soaring solo from Stairway to Heaven, showed her the guitar's potential for storytelling, a tool not just for rhythm and melody, but for painting entire emotional narratives. This influence is most evident in Hart's early work, particularly the acoustic-led tracks that open into explosive rock anthems, mirroring Zeppelin's own dynamic shifts. Hart's iconic performance of Stairway to Heaven at the Kennedy Center Honors in 2012 was a full-circle moment for Wilson, a tribute not only to her idol, but to the musical journey she had undertaken, much of it under Page's shadow. That night, performing in front of Page himself, Wilson and her sister delivered a rendition that managed to capture both reverence for the original and a unique personal touch. It was a nod to the debt she owed Page and to the countless hours spent absorbing his work. We're up to the moment where we're st standing backstage just about to walk on to do the ultimate I just got rock anthem. I just got nervous <laughs> <laughs> again. And we looked at each other, I remember just before we walked on, and we, we both kind of went, gah, jeez. And so a lot of people say, oh, you made Led Zeppelin cry. I was like, I don't think it was only about that. I think it was a lot about yeah. their rock family and seeing the fruition. And in the years since, Wilson has not only reflected on these influences, but has also seen the torch pass to a new generation of guitarists, among them a rising star named Grace Bowers. Bowers, though still young, has captured the attention of many in the rock community for her technical skill and compositional ability. For Wilson, Bowers represents the future of women in rock guitar, an artist unafraid to draw from the past while forging her own identity. In a recent interview, Wilson praised Bowers for her confidence and ability to take on ambitious material, acknowledging that Bowers, like herself, is part of a growing lineage of female guitarists pushing the boundaries of rock music. Bowers' playing recalls some of the same adventurous spirit that initially drew Wilson to Beck and Page. Her command of the guitar, combined with a willingness to cross genres much like Becker, places her firmly in the tradition of these greats. Wilson has spoken of how inspiring it is to see young women like Bowers stepping into roles once dominated by men, carrying forward the lessons she and others have learned. The future of rock guitar, it seems, is in capable hands. Even as Nancy Wilson continues to evolve as an artist, her foundation remains rooted in the influences of these legendary figures. Beck, Becker and Page were not just idols, they were guides, showing her what could be achieved with dedication, creativity and a refusal to be boxed in by genre or convention. Through them, Wilson discovered her voice, a voice that continues to resonate through Hart's music and beyond, now shaping the next generation of rock musicians.